In this video, I'm going to go over the main ways you can kill bacteria. That is to say, how to kill them with drugs. Because one way you can just kill them, of course, is just to boil them. So, first of all, let's remind ourselves of what bacteria are made of. And then we'll look at the four stages or four places where we can actually kill them. So here's my really simple take on what bacteria are made of. First of all we have a cell wall on the outside. We then have within that the actual plasma membrane and of course what bacteria don't have is they don't have a nucleus so they tend to have a chromosome kind of packed in inside their cell like this so this is the chromosome And they also have a number of ribosomes to make the proteins with. So this is my really simple model of how bacteria work. And there are several targets we can hit here. So one of them is we can actually hit the cell wall. And the reason for that is that there is tremendous pressure across this, this, uh, this within between the inside of the cell compared to the outside of the cell. So you might remember that there are two types of bacteria. You might want to check and look this up. There's gram positive and gram negative. And it's all to do with the way they take up this grain stam, stain. And basically, gram-positive uh, bacteria have a much thicker cell wall. And they, the pressure that they experience is something like 20 atmospheres. I just realized, made a mistake here. Let's get rid of that. That should be a gram negative. Now these only have about five atmospheres, but still that's a lot of pressure. So if you can break the cell wall, the cell wall lies. The other thing you can do is to attack the DNA, or the way the DNA is made. Or you can try to interfere with protein synthesis. Perhaps at the ribosomes. And then the other thing is you can, the other thing that the cells carry on inside, of course, they have their own metabolism. And you can also directly attack that. So those are the four ways then. This you can, there are drugs that attack the cell wall. There are drugs that aim at the DNA. There are drugs that aim at protein synthesis and drugs that target the metabolism. So well-known drugs that attack the cell wall are the penicillins. Make sure I spell this right. P N I, isn't it? Penicillins. So it's one example, but there are others, such as the um, uh, cephalosporins. Etc. Etc. Um, when it comes to attacking 
the protein synthesis, you've got drugs like um, we call them macrolides. And that includes things like erythromycin. But you might also have heard of, the, of tetracyclines. That's another type of drug that all attack protein synthesis. When it comes to When it comes to attacking metabolism, there's a trick that a lot of drugs use, which is that bacteria need to make their own folate, which is needed to make DNA. So uh, we can take it up from our food, but bacteria can't. And the sulfonamides, work by inhibiting the production of folate. So there are, these are some drug classes we're, we've mentioned today. Oh, DNA, did mention DNA. So one of the drugs which affect DNA are drugs such as uh, the fluoroquinolones. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this right. Fluoroquinolones. What they do is they attack an enzyme called DNA gyrase, and that helps to unwrap the DNA when it gets transcribed. So four different targets and four important drugs.